is it? I don't really know. I just... I can't stop thinking about what happened with us. Do you know what they called it? The Stockholm Syndrome. What do you gotta do to get to it? Get kidnapped? Held hostage or something? Yeah. And then what? Then you fall for your captor. So they say. Thank you, son. <laughs> Thank you, y'all. Yes, and about the monkey face. What about Stand up, huh? Tie her up. Tie her up. Hands and feet. What are you? What are you doing? What are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Huh? Huh? Did you just set off the alarm? Did you just set off the alarm? It's very good. Now sit down. Sit down. Call the chief of police, okay? Do you understand me? Been shot. No, she hasn't been shot. She's obviously got a muscle cramp or something. Get her a banana and get everybody out of here. Go, 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 go. yes, go. Slowly make your way to the exits. Remain calm. Peace, peace. Get him, Mark. I'm waiting. You ready? Here we are. <laughs> it's 
All for a good cause, Pickus, eh? Chief Pennington. Let it hold that bloody thought. Yeah. Uh -huh. An American with a machine gun has taken over Credit Banken. Credit Banken? This is Bianca Linda, Credit Banken. Um, there, there's an American with a big gun. Is anyone else hurt there? Uh, my, my colleague is tied up. And Ask him what they want. He's asking what you want. Tell him that I want him right now. I want him here in 10 minutes or I shoot you in the face and then hang up. Tell him that. He wants you here in 10 minutes or he shoots me in the face. Was he surprised? And did he sound surprised? I mean, fuck, right? Just grab the biggest bank in Sweden. I mean, <laughs> it's gonna be a surprise. What do you want? Tie her up. Oh, please. Please, I have children. Uh, stop. Do not fuck with me. Okay? Behind the back. Tie her hands up behind the back. Do not give me those eyes. Come on, get out of here. Done with you. You two, go, 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 go. Police! Police! There's, there's a crazy man in there. Social Democratic Prime Minister Olof Palme is a fierce critic of Nixon and Vietnam. Hey, stop, freeze! What is wrong with you? You could have taken her head off. Is any more of you? No, huh? easy, Tough easy, guy. easy. Huh? You are so lucky! I don't blow your brains up! Get it! Relax. Oh, man. Get, sit down, sit down. Get in there, sit down. Sit down! Did you see that? I shot the gun, boom, right out of his hand. Pop, right there. Now you have to stop crying, okay? It's making me really, really nervous. You gotta sit down right, right in that chair, okay? Sit here. Keep my eyes on the door. Okay. Where's my hat? Get my hat, it's right over there. Yeah. Thank you. Give me the radio, too. Let's have some music. Oh, yeah, just sit right there. Now, you gotta get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. The love that a stranger might receive. You cast your spell and I went under. I find it so different. The sheet has arrived. It is on now. I got an idea. You see the walkie? Come on. Where's the walkie? Hmm? Yeah. Okay. Here, take it. See me there. Well, you don't like Dylan, huh? What kind of cop doesn't like Dylan? What kind of person doesn't like Dylan? Sing! If there's a poor boy on the street, then let him have my seat. Cause tonight I'll be staying with you. Bloody Americans. Why can't they just stay home? Set up on the second floor. Let's go. We're going to use the bank offices. That's it. Early gentlemen. Don't have time to waste. That's it. Keep those people. <laughs> First ever hostage crisis in Sweden. Are we live? We're live. This is Chief Motson. Get down, get down. Coming out. You better not be armed. No, no, no. Not armed. What's your name? You can call me the outlaw. Remember the Alamo.
You're all right, Holstein. What happened? Oh, oh, you worried about the cop? Oh, how about that, you guys? Huh? First thing he wants to know is how the cop is. Don't worry about him. Get out of here. Huh? We're done with you now. Get out of here, huh? Go on. Beat it. Beat it. You're a... Oh, God. We're done with you. It's in the hospital. I'm not leaving. Hey! You guys having a drink or what? You want to talk to him or me? I would like to talk with Miss Lynn. Is she here? Yes, yeah, she's fine. Yeah, no. Is that you? Where are the others? I'm doing the talking. All right? Bring me Gunnar Sorenson. Now. Gunnar Sorenson? That's right. From Kalmar Prison. You can't do that. Let me tell you what you can and cannot do. All right? Listen. Bring me Gunnar Sonson by 3 p.m. or I'm going to shoot her in the head, okay? Whoa, 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 whoa. You don't want to do that. You don't want to hurt her. Now you've come to a bank. You want money. Yes, I have money. Right. I want one million U.S. dollars unmarked. You hear me? American. Uh, That'll take some uh, time to... Two pistols and a getaway car and bulletproof vests for, for the hostages, too. It's a little one-sided. And who is this us? It's just you, cowboy. Me and Gunnar! You get it? We will let the ladies go when it's over, when we're free. I will talk with the ministry. Give us a few hours. I thought I was talking to somebody with some authority! I thought I was talking to a bank robber. <laughs> Better not see any cops on this floor, huh? We'll be upstairs. You all right? Bring that mic. Only if you have a case shot, right? Yes, I understand. How do you know Gunnar Sorensen? Who mm. knows Gunnar Sorensen? He's the greatest bank robber in the whole world. Didn't he kill someone? Listen, it's a couple hour drive from Kalmar. Mm -hmm. Bar a cribbage board, some cars. I don't have any red pegs, but I have some matchsticks that we can use. All right, you play cribbage? I have to pee. I don't want to die. Let me take you to a restroom. Do I look like an idiot? I have some decency. Okay, I mean, one of you can go at a time, but if you don't come back, I'll shoot the other one. Clara, you go. You go. If you have to. I do, but you go on. No, I don't trust myself. All right, then, then I'll go first. You untie my hands. Allison. I just want to make sure you come back, okay? She's not as strong as you. Come back now, you hear?
you think about leaving me? Nothing to say. Keep moving. Keep moving. Give a statement. Why are you here, Mr. Sorensen? Tell me. Okay. Do it. I'm coming out with Governor Sorensen. He's agreed to help us negotiate. I'm not sure yet. Uh, let us have one hostage for good one. You keep forgetting that I am the one making the demands. I see Gunner, I don't see my car. Huh? Is it you? <laughs> Next time I see you, I want you to be putting keys to a Mustang 302 like Steve McQueen had in Bullet. Understood? Oh, yeah. I like that movie. Yeah. <laughs> I did it! No! You're free! Oh. Listen, I've got a boat for us in North London. We sail tonight. You're crazy. Uh, uh, credit poker. Yeah, like Butch Cassidy and Sonny S. Kid. Wait, wait, yeah. wait. You want something? Yeah, Mike, what's on that? <laughs> we're surrounded by every cop in the capital. You should have told me you were doing this. Oh, yeah, I want to surprise you. What the hell? Huh? What do you mean? Well, they want you to kill me. I'd never do that. Yeah, I know you wouldn't do that, but what the hell? <laughs> you know, a little money? Nothing. Uh, nothing. nothing. No, no. No. I'm the mediator. Mediator? Yeah. That sounds important. Huh? <laughs> hey, meet the girls. Hey, girls. I want you to meet my best friend. Gonna so and so. Bum, ba, da, bum, bum, bum. <laughs> oh, sorry. This is Bianca. Bianca Gunnar. And, um. Clara. Clara. Gunnar Clara. Hi. And. One. Government issue pistol. Look at all this stuff. Did you bring all this? Yeah, well, in case we get delayed, you know, who knows what we're gonna need, right? It's good, right? Disable the cameras? No, I, I didn't think. You think I should have? I just thought. I mean, we're not going to be here very long, you know? Where is the tape roll? Down that hall by the deposit vault. I'll check it out. I will. But it's, I just don't think it's that big a deal, you know? I mean, what, where are you going? Oh, yeah, right, right. Stay with the girls. Yeah, 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 no, of course, of course. Somebody there? Hey, look what I found. Who's he? He was hiding. Huh? I'm Ada. You know him? No, no. What do you do, man? You a cop? No, I'm not. I've worked on a cruise ship. A 
cruise ship went to America? Yes. I don't know. Sometimes, yes. What were you doing in the supply room? I beg you, please, just let me go. I... No, I can't, I'll tell you that. I said we let him go. Mm -hmm. We can use another. Another body. Kai Hansen escaped from prison seven months ago, and now he robs a bank in order to spring his old bank robber pal, Gunnar Sorensen. Chief, a man in the back hall is demanding to speak with you. Uh, who is it? Mrs. Lynx Hosfant is here. Come over and let let you talk to him. Don't let them boss you around. Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa! What do we get, huh? Yeah, we're hungry. Yeah, we could starve to death in here waiting for this Mustang. It's coming, and and we will bring you food and beer. Yeah, food, beer, cigarettes, Marlboro Reds. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Bianca, are you okay? Are you okay? I'm okay. What are you doing here? Why are you not with the kids? Well, I had to come. I'm, I mean... Go home and make them dinner. And don't tell them about this. Okay, I won't. I, when will you be home? She'll be home tonight if uh, Beanfall over here can keep his promises. Okay? Yeah, listen. Let me take her spot. Sounding off like he's got a pair, huh? <laughs> I like that. I like that. But no. How about that, Gunnar? Why don't you come over here and help us out? You heard him. He says no. I sure know. Okay. In case you ever noticed, your wife's a fox. Hey. And you're don't not. Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, wait. Please. It won't be long. Write this down. Please write it down. Okay. Okay, I got it. You take the herring out of the fridge. I already reboned it, so you don't need to worry about bones for Martin and Mia when they eat. Why are you saying this? Just the fish, so you can cook the fish. Okay, write this down. You take a, a tablespoon of flour onto a plate and add some salt and pepper. And then you put the fish in. In the plate? On the plate, and then you turn it over. Okay. And you put a spoon of butter into the pan and heat it up until it gets brown. But, but the butter gets brown? The butter gets brown. Mm -hmm. And then you put the fish in. And you fry it for um, four or five minutes, not more, on each side, because Mia doesn't like when it's burned. I know. And she won't eat it. No. So that's important. Four or five minutes. And then uh, the potatoes I boiled last night, so you, you don't need to do anything. Bianca, anything. Bianca, Bianca I don't know. I, I, I love you. I love you too. And the ling on. Berries jam is in the jar your mom gave us, the green jar. It's in the side, in the door of the fridge. Um, if I die, you can, you can live on fish. You won't die. She won't die! Please She'll don't be home them. tonight! Yes, please, she won't die as long as he gives me what please, I need, all right? Please don't I need them. a mustang! I need my bills! Don't I don't need them. food! I need cigarettes! You're not helping me at all, Jack! It's all on its way, Kai. Or... Excuse me, would you prefer Mr. Hansel? We know it's you. Call me whatever you want, okay? Hmm. Good. Oh, and you cannot leave with these hostages. Uh, yes, we will be taking the hostages out of here. No, you can't. It's Prime Minister's orders. The cars of death trap without them. The car is coming. You're free to go on your own. We might have to kill one of them so we can get out of here. that occurred will say that Watergate demonstrates the bankruptcy of the American political system. Excuse me, Olaf. I no. use precisely the I just received a call from Kai Hansen at Credit Bank. He says he'll kill the hostages, sir. This whole thing is absurd. Hello? Hello, Mr. Prime Minister. Mr. Hansen? Your chief. 
our police says that you won't let us leave with the hostages. That's quite right. So then you want to be responsible for the deaths of innocent citizens? No, of course not. Well, then, let us leave with them. That is simply impossible. Olaf, I'm going to count to ten. And if you don't agree to let us leave with the hostages, then I am going to kill Clara. Yeah. So, beginning now. Ten! Nine! Eight! Oh, no. Yes! Stop now! Oh, Do you agree? Oh, Seven! Oh, stop stop it! Stop. Let go of me! Don't touch me again! Six! Five! Now you four. listen to me, Mr. Hoffman! Please stop! You don't want to do this! Hey! Back off! All right? Do you agree? Three! You stop that! Now! One! Do you agree? Listen to me! Mr. Hoffman! You have till tomorrow to change your mind, or one of them dies. Shut your mouth. I thought they cooperate. You know, I thought they cooperate. I didn't think Prime Minister of Sweden doesn't give a shit if they live or die. I mean, what's that say about us? I thought they told me that you kill a hostage. To get your plane out of here. How crazy is that, man? No, no, no pills. No, no I got it. No, I you I need to sleep. I can't. I can't go to sleep. It's wide open. I don't trust the cops. We can't sleep. There's a vault in the back there. We can sleep in there. Bianca, you got the keys to the vault? Gunnar Sorensen is here to help us broker a peaceful resolution. And the hostages, can you confirm their identities? Yes. Elof Eriksson, Bianca Lindt, and Clara Mord. Has Mr. Hansen harmed any of them? Actually, we spoke half an hour ago with a gentleman hiding out in Hawaii who claims to be the real Kai Hansen. And what did he say? He said he's going to sue all of us for spreading libelous rumors, said he would never take hostages. So if the robber is not Kai Hansen, who is it? Well, we're working on that. And the girls, have, have they been harmed? Yes. And we fear he may rape them. Bullshit! No Turn that off! God damn! Yeah. Why would they say that? Cops lie to get what they want. Do I look like a rapist? Jeez, if I knew we were going to be spending all night in there, I would have brought you 12 string. <laughs> this guy can play, okay? And Kalma, gonna play beautifully all night long. Remember uh, Helsingborg? At the fair? You used to sing. Mm. No, thank hmm? you. We used to knock this Dylan song out of the park. Remember that? Tomorrow was a long time. Oh, yeah. If today was not a crooked highway, if tonight was not a crooked trail if tomorrow wasn't such a long time then lonesome would mean nothing to me at all yes and only if my own true love was waiting yes if i could hear her heart softly pounding yes and only if she was lying by me i'd lie in my bed once again Nice one. I can't see my reflection in the water. I can't speak 
sounds to show no pain. I can't hear the echo of my footsteps. I'll remember the sounds of my own name. Yes, and only if my own true love is waiting. And if I could only hear her heart a softly pounding. Yes, and only if she was lying by me. I'd lie in my bed once again. As beauty in that silver singing river As beauty in that rainbow in the sky But none of these and nothing else can touch the beauty That I remember in my true love's eyes Yes, and only if my own true love is waiting I could only hear a heart softly pounding Yes, and only if she was lying by me And I'd lie in my bed once again music. I liked when you were singing before. I had one of them when I was 19. Um, so you're from Helsingborg? Born there. Grew up in the States. Yeah, the, uh, the accent. I... Mm -hmm. I remember I uh, saw a photo in Helsingborg's paper maybe five, six years ago. That was you. You broke into an elderly couple's house. The old man's heart started acting up. His wife asked you to get his heart medicine. And you did, and you saved his life. It wasn't me. When we get out of here, they're gonna put a transmitter under the car. They're gonna track us. But if Gunnar and I could slip out of the car near the cove, and somebody else drove it up to E4 just for a couple hours. That'd give us enough time to sail across the Baltic. You think you could do that for me? What, me? You don't know how to drive? Yes, yes I do. Then you could do it. No. Hey, where are you going? What's... I'm gonna go to France. Start over there. I remember um, the Helsing boys robber had a, a wife and a kid. It was an ex wife and a son. What was the name of the Helsing boy robber? That little Briss's name was Lars, okay? But that's not me. That's not who I am. I have a daughter and a son. I'd like to see them again, Lars.
Hello? Hey, it's me. Are you sleeping? No, no, of course not. Where are you? Have you been freed? I'm, I'm still at the bank. What, what does that mean? I, I don't have much time. I just, um... I, I miss me and Martin so much. I just want to hear their voices. I, I can't really think about anything else. What about me? <laughs> I'm kidding. I just got Mia now. Can, can you wake her up? She really needs to sleep, Yaka. I know, but... You didn't tell her, did you? You did. It's all over the news. She would have found out. Can you stop it? I told you. I, I asked you not I'm to. I'm not I... as strong as you. I'm... Can you please just worry about getting yourself out of there? Of course, yes. I'll, I'll try harder tomorrow. I didn't mean it like that. I'm... Is he listening? No. No, he's not listening. He's... He let me go. He didn't have to. He's not all bad. What do you say? I, I just mean no, nobody's all bad. No, but that man is an animal. Bianca. Yes. How, um... How did the fish turn out? I took a meatloaf out of the freezer. It was easier. Right. Well, I have to, um... Be careful. Yeah, good night. That was the fish. They had meatloaf. Up to, huh? That's my period. What's going on? Uh, I need tampons. She she got her period. She needs tampons. What? Where are we supposed to get tampons? What? I mean, don't you have any? It's way too early. It's not supposed to come yet. It's the trauma. Her body is stressed. <sighs> yeah, I see. That's the cops. Yeah, I'll get the I'll, I'll get the cops. Thank you. Hey! Emergency! Emergency! It's Clara! You see, EC! EC. What happened? Whatever, it's Clara. She's bleeding. You know, we know you're not Kai. Who are you? Don't worry about that right now. Okay, Coach Jack? All right? We got bigger problems. All right, she's, she's... What did you do to her? I didn't do anything, man. It's her time. It's, it's... You know, come on. She, she, I need some tampons, okay? Look, we need to check the health of all of the hostages. You don't need anything, okay, except to get Clara some tampons, okay? And if you get them, I will bring everybody out here, and you can give them a clean bill of health, all right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. We were supposed to be covering the Crayfish Festival today, but as you can see, media has arrived here and in the square from all over Europe. The police are desperate here in central Stockholm. Authorities have received over 200 calls from citizens offering suggestions to end this crisis. Ms. Lind, how are you feeling? Not so good. I like to go home. Don't worry, sweetheart. We're taking care of everything. Is that so? You think we should trust you and your My partner? Dear, dear girl, you are not hey, thinking straight. Don't patronize her, okay? We've had enough of that. All of us. Don't listen to him. You see, everybody's fine, right? We just need the tampons. We need the bag that hopefully has the vests in it. And you have to convince the prime minister to let us leave today or somebody dies. I'm trying. Okay. Come on. Go see some breakfast now. It's taking so long, all right? Our deal is expiring soon. You shut up about the deal. You 
see how cozy they are, the way they speak to us. Yeah. yeah. Pick it up. Hmm? Yeah, pick it up. Hello? I am Vincent uh, Barry with the... Uh... Sveriges Television outside the credit bank. Who's this? Uh, this is Bianca Lind. Miss Lind, Vincent Erdberg, Sveriges Television. Yeah, you just said that. All of Sweden would like to know what is it like being stuck in there with those criminals? It's not too bad. We want to leave with them. With the robbers? That's correct. But why? I, I don't understand. Because we want to live. Sure, but, but you trust them? More than we trust our police. Uh, why haven't you left them? Because our own prime minister refuses to let us go. He doesn't seem to care. You think this is political? Could you connect me to Vincent Erdberg? Everything is political. But surely the prime minister cares about your life. The prime minister is on radio. I'll patch him into the switchboard. Hang up. That's it. That's, that's all I have to say. Hold on, Miss Lin. Hold on. I have the prime minister on the line. Sir, you're live with Miss Lin. Yes. Hello? Hello? Mrs. Lin. I've been listening. It's not that simple. Mr. Prime Minister, it is. If you let us go, we might live. If the police don't interfere, nobody will get hurt and we will survive. You can save our lives. And the best way to do that is not to let them out on the roads with you. But we are willing to take that risk. I wish that would make a difference. But as Prime Minister, I'm responsible for all the Swedish people. Exactly. But all the Swedish people are not in here. We are trapped in here. We. And, and if the police comes in and they start shooting, he will shoot back. And then nobody will survive. We live in an orderly society. One should not be able to violent methods to do such things. He's not violent. And this is not the time to talk about the society. I, I am violent. Hey! Did you hear what I said last night? Now you listen to me. Okay. If I'm not allowed to leave here right now, one of these hostages is going to die. Please, All right? stop And it. if it's Miss Lind, I hope you have the guts to walk over to her house and look her small son and her small daughter in the eyes and say that you did the right thing. I got an idea. Come here. Mm -hmm. What? I got an idea. Give me your pistol. I need a pistol. What? Give it to me. Yeah. Hey, let her go. All right? Go. Where are you taking her, man? Where are you going? You want to see your kids again, right? Yes, of course. Right, okay. I gotta kill someone, right? I mean, I've got to, and I, th I think it should be you. What? You know, I, I, they will never let any of us out of here alive if they don't believe that I killed somebody, okay? So... I, so you wanna, you wanna shoot me? Yeah, I, I wanna put this vest on you, okay? You understand? I'm gonna go out there by the stairs with you I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretend to negotiate. We'll have a given signal, okay? You try to run, I shoot up close at an angle, all right? It'll hurt, it'll hurt a lot, but you won't die. Have you done this before? Gunner has, he did it a few years ago. Listen, if you're too scared, I'm just gonna make Aloff do it. I am not too scared. It's just, you are so much more valuable than he is. You're a woman, you're a mother. You're extremely valuable. All right, the only part I don't like is then we're gonna have to leave without you, all right? Well, I'll take Clara, I'll take Aloff, we'll get in the car, we'll go, the cops will come in, they'll find you, and they'll just take you straight home to your children. So, you and the others will survive, and I can go home. <sighs> Do you belong to the Swedish church? Yeah, I do. Dear God, who holds his children there? Look to me as little as I am, 
and reach the hands. Listen to me. I'm done. Okay? I'm done. One of two things is gonna happen right now. You're gonna get me my car and my unmarked bills, and I'm gonna drive out of here, or I am gonna kill this woman. You understand? Oh, relax. You're not going to shoot anyone. Oh, really? Well, we know who you are. No. You are the Helsingbrede robber, Lars Nystrøm. Now you're a big softy. Maybe even a bit of a queer. I'm not queer, asshole! Well, it makes sense with the, the long hair. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! No, Shut Bianca up. can feel it. No! Bianca, you don't talk to me, Bianca! I Bianca, talk look to over here. No! You no. can't... What's going on? Shut up. Lars! Could that be so bloody wrong? Oh my god. Oh shit. What happened? Oh shit. Huh? What happened, man? She tried to escape, okay? She tried to escape and, and I I shot her. I I I You shot her? I ex accidentally. I I You're insane. You come in here. And you can kill a normal get woman. Get what? back. Sit down. ago we heard more gunfire inside the credit bank. Chief Matson has confirmed that one of the hostages, Miss Bianca Lind, has been killed by Lars Nyström. Did her bizarre trust in him lead to her death? And why are authorities loading tear gas into the bank? They are growing desperate to end this ordeal, but they must now await Prime Minister Palme's approval to let Nyström leave with the remaining hostages. I'm Vincent Öberg, live from central Stockholm. We have time for time. They're going to drill a hole through the ceiling, and then they're going to give us the tear gas. No, don't worry. There's solid concrete up there. Did I ever tell you about my buddy Pete? Pete Noonan? Who? My Vietnam Navy buddy. Got to expose that gas. 90 seconds, scrambled his brain. Minnie's a babbling idiot now. You hear it? Yeah, I hear it. What is it? I don't know. Get in here. Get in here. Both of you.
What is it? You see anything? It just went black when I hit the floor. Shut your well and hear the vest on, you fool. Everybody. What are you talking about? She's got a vest on. What? I, I told you that? Yeah. You believe that story? That didn't happen? Of course not. I mean, nice play, Lars. It's uh, risky, but it's fucking crazy, man. I, how, how could you not know she wasn't there? But I, I was, I don't know. I got scared, man. You got scared? Listen, here's the plan, okay? There's a microphone. We can go in there, we can say whatever we want, but they have to believe that Bianca is dead. <laughs> I need ice and painkillers. Ice and painkillers? <sighs> you jerk. Chief? Hmm? The back of the vault. help at this time of the month. I'm, I'm really hungry. Quit your bitching or I'll kill you too. Yeah, yeah, Mont's on here. Chief Matt's home. Now you've got one dead hostage, you want another? You're gonna let us drive out of here. I have the authority to let you leave here first thing in the morning. I put Gunnar on the line. I'm not gonna put Gunnar on the line. You can talk to me, I'm in charge. This is Gunnar. How are the others? Clara's scared. She's got cramps. We can send down a doctor. We don't need a doctor. We need ice and painkillers. And food. And food. And cigarettes. I have cigarettes. Well, Clara, this is my vote now. And we smoke. If I say we smoke, because I'm in charge. Now, the only food we have is one pear. And no, you can't have any, so don't even ask. You want some food? You ask the cops. Start begging the cops. No, and you don't get any. Yum, yum, yum. Boy, this pear is delicious, huh, Gunnar? Something's wrong. No, it's better that he underestimates me. Yeah. Steve McQueen works in this machine shop. When he gets out of jail, he robs a bank. That's such a good movie. I saw it three times. 
Have you seen it? You look like Ally McGraw. Did I, did I do much movies in prison? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they let you see prostitutes in prison. Yeah, well, if you get the conjugal in, they give you a couch. What, did you have to pay them? That's pretty much how prostitution works. <laughs> no, I know that. <laughs> I was just saying, you know. What? Why wouldn't you call me? What is your problem? What if I freaked out? Just huh? relax, Lars. You know how I found out who you are? I don't give a shit, man. The Anka told us before you killed her. She was just pretending to like you, trying to survive. You know that, right? Screw you, man. Screw you. Oh, a little touchy about her, are we? <laughs> so on some need to chat. Why? A mediator talks to both sides. I was hoping he'd sell you out by now. He's been lying to you, Lars. <laughs> Would you like to mess with the set? Well, someone asked it. What happened to our Eva? No, I, I didn't know it was Lars there. Don't tell me he's your best friend. He's the only one you care about. I'm envious the four dark of you will have the same sentence as Lars. Oh, what's up? Hey, what's going on? We cool? Yeah. Yeah. Are you two all right? No, we're still starving and tired. You just let us leave with them. They need to wear those vests. You have all of it? I see. Hey, look, you want to be concerned? Get us keys to the Mustang. Oh, yeah. No, no, no! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, man. We don't need you in here. Back up and toss them. Huh? Just toss them. Hey! Get off the Oh, my God! Did you know he was going to do that? No. Did you know he was going to do that? Oh, you are crazy, man. Were you in on this? No. You heard what I said. Fuck! You are an Never want to the vault. All right. You OK? I need, I need the painkillers. Clara needs her painkillers. There's, there's no painkillers. There's no food. It's just ice. Go to the vault. Move, 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 move. Cover the vault. Hold your positions. Await my orders. They're in position. Do not lower your weapons. The crisis here has grown stranger still, almost like an American movie. The police are threatening force, and the international media are baffled by the irrational behavior of the hostages. Psychiatrists are now advising the police that the hostages may be brainwashed. Everybody open your mouths. Hands over your ears. Here we go. Viva Zapata. Jesus. What's that? Audio's gone. He's lost the audio, yeah? Is that it? Yeah. OK, he blew off the fucking mic. Let's get the commoner down there. No, OK, no, we no, use the same setup. Not until we penetrate the ceiling. We can Increase the, the drilling for the next three hours. Non stop. Okay, and then on. turn up the heat he to suffocate them. Listen to what I'm saying. And then Ingmar. we freeze them. And then back again. On, Hang on. Off, Ingmar, on, they're going off, to get on, sick, on, okay? Off. What's gotten off. into you? No. So hostages, yeah, I'm they're hostages. They're the hostages. They have hostages. Drunk, if they want our help, they need to show us some respect. All I am saying. Are they in charge? Look what they're doing. Those criminals, they think they're in charge. But we are in charge. So let's turn up the heat. And when they call us, they will. You do not answer the phones. You hear me? Do you hear me? I do, Chief. Then get to it. OK, you heard him, OK? The heat goes up. Yeah, go.
All of it. Everything. How can you say that? How could you say that? They're about to gas us to death, all right? And you're taking their side? If I was on their side... If I was on their side, you would be dead by now. Unless you gas us to death! No! Lars! No! Cover the bloody hole! Get the medic! A medic! No gas! No gas! No! no. Lars! No! Use your head! You kill a cop, we're all dead! You killed a cop? I did not! Yes, you did! That was my idiot partner! Oh I'm not my so God. stupid! You were there! You got accessory! I accessory. did not pull the trigger! Not dead, anyway! Oh, yeah. Is that it? Huh? Put it down. You put it down. Put it down. Please you put it down. Please stop this. Please listen to me. Please. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that's the way it is, huh? So either I bust you out, or you turn me in, or you kill me, huh? It's a win-win for you, is that it? Huh? I've been giving you second chances all your life, Lars. I know that is what brothers do for each other, man. That is what having each other's back means. Look, you don't want to leave with me, I don't want to go. Turn me in, turn me in. I don't care. What are they offering you, huh? A lot. Yeah, well, how much am I worth? Huh? I just said a lot. Uh, come on, put the gun down, let's fight. What? Come on, man, let's fight! Come on, like old times! Come on, put the gun down and let's fight! And then you can turn me in, and I won't even tell everybody how you turned into a little bitch cop who stabbed me in the back. Oh, my God. He's like a child! <laughs> <laughs> Look who's got both guns now. Oh, it's, it's just more relaxed now. Yeah. What? We good? Oh, we're great, Lars. Yeah. All right. Let's get some rest. Got to be alert on those roads. I'm very sorry, Frederick. gonna be okay. You are. You are unbelievably brave, you know. Really. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. It's incredible. Yeah, I was very brave. Lars. I 
Michael home. My, my daughter probably thinks I'm dead. And, and my parents, I, I can't even imagine what they're going through. You just have to right now. For a little bit longer. It's the only way we're going to get out of here. It's the only thing that makes it worth it. Wishes I got a long time ago, you know. So no. Yeah, no, you're better off with it. Yeah. You know, I mean I don't want it to sound like that. Like I, I hate it when, you know, professionals act like it's all their parents' fault, you know. I mean I I deserve every sentence I've ever gotten. And so You were not afraid of prison? No, I just once you start making money the easy way, you can't go back. You know, I mean I stabbed somebody. I did, I, uh, there was this kitty little old creepy, old creep, like, good and I knew it for a fact, he lived down the hall from us, and we, we found out, and I took a butter knife and I stabbed him. And Gunnar was with you, you, you were living yeah. with Gunnar? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then we were cellmates. <laughs> <laughs> You really love him, don't you? He was like my brother. Mm. You know, he... He was really, uh... You know, he was really strong. You know, he taught me everything. You know? I don't know, Lars. You have one minute to give up. Place your weapons into the bag, slide it under the hole so we can see them. One minute or we start the gas. Uh, no, 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 no. What do you mean? You said you were gonna... One minute! It's Wait. not the phone. You have to press the red button. Hey, what's going on? Hey! Hey! You said you were gonna let us go! Things have changed. Lost. What do you mean? What? You should do what he says. Fuck no! No way, man! You, you, you said we could go! One minute! How can they do that? They can't gas us all. I know they want to kill me, but the the guns in the no bag. way. The guns Fuck in the back. You no, no retreat, man. Why would they want to kill all of us? What are you doing? Hey, what don't you touch her. Do not oh, fucking oh, touch her, man. Down. I will oh, blow God. your head off. It's okay. I have an idea. Sending in the gas, Lars. Yeah, no, that's great. You just, uh, you pump the gas in, and then, uh, Eilof and Clara will die. No problem. They will be just fine. No, 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 they, they won't be fine. They have nooses around their necks, so when you put the gas in, they'll pass out, and then they'll be strangled to death, and it'll be your fault. What nooses? I don't believe you. The nooses I put around their necks! 
Uh, let me see. Hold on a minute. Set up the CCTV camera, bring it over here. We're going to place it inside the hole to take a look. We're sending down a camera through the hole. Now stay away and don't do any bloody shooting. Get down, get down, get down. Come on, come on, come on. Get down. Come on, come on, come on. Get down. You let them free. All you have to do is give me what I want and let me leave with my hostages and all this will be over. Let them out of those nooses. Understood? Chief, you go down there. What do you mean, me? I can go. No! I need you here. You go down and you let them out. Just go on. I, I lost them. Bloody. Go on. Okay, we're gonna open the door and let them go. Hang tight. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm coming down. Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Open the door! Open the door! Jesus Christ, they already fucked this up. Open the door now. All right, back up, okay. back up, back up. Easy. Back up. Easy. Why are you here? Where's Matson? He sent me. Your car's ready. And he says that your deal is over, so and so. You're in this all the way now. Yeah. Let's just get to France and then we'll see what happens. Most likely you go your way and I go mine, right? I think so, yes. You gonna give me the gun? Why? You gonna help me? It's up to you. For her. Oh, he's a tender brute, that large. If so, send in some gas. Just enough to bring someone back from the dead. Yes, Chief. Well, There's no harm if she really is dead. Is it? in the trunk. 
Keep your eyes on Get it, get it, get it, get it! Come on, man! Back off, easy, easy! Listen to me, listen to me. Clear the traffic on the Helmgarten. You can take that to the highway. Clear the way! That's nothing, Chief. That's where it hit your eye. Just turn it off. <coughs> Wait, you see that? It's the chief. Listen very carefully. Is that ah! Ha 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 ha! Yes! Yes! Oh yeah! All right, here we go! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Hold your fire! Oh god! Hold your fire! Who did that? I'm gonna kill you! I'm gonna blow his face right now! It's a mistake. I'm sorry. Hold your fire! Is that gunfire? You want me to kill him? I will blow his brains all over this car! Right on national we'll TV! We replace the tires. So calm down. You lied to me, man! Come out and, and I'll no. escort you to the lobby. No, I'm find not the new tires. Car. Lars, I'm not going back in there! Look into the eyes of those men. Those volunteers, they're terrified. You're not safe out here. I don't trust them anymore. I will kill him. Let's go. Back off! Back off! Back off! Just stand down! Back off. Stand down! Hold your fire! Hold your fire! Back up! Yeah, I back. hate you! I hate you! Back hold your fire! I don't know what happened. It will be safer in here. This is so you. bad, man. Yeah, yeah. This is so bad. Uh, it's, it's terrible. I don't understand what happened. I'm very sorry. You tell them to stop pointing their guns. Tell them to stop pointing their guns, man! No, we'll just wait in here until they replace that tire. And in the meantime, we should uh, get Miss Lynn's body out of there. Huh? Have you... No. Do you have the... Do you have the key to the vault? Please. Please, let's go back to the vault. I'm not going back to the vault. Okay. Come in. Okay. Please. Let's no, let's you go never go back. Never go back. You don't want to leave her in here. It's not right. Go back to the vault. Put your guns down. Shame on you. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, go. I got him. I got him. I got him. Take this, take this, take this. No closer. Get back! Stay back! Are you not going in as well? Stay back. Get out! Get out! They know. Lars! I know. Lars! Wait! Not inside. The Lars! Ah! Ah! Turn on the gas! Turn on the gas! No gas! No gas! No shit! It's gonna go to our brains! Oh fuck! No! No! I'm not going back to prison. I'm back. I'll shoot her. You hear me? No. You understand? Turn off the gas. I will kill her. the guns where we can no see them. Dead. Throw them in front of you. Gas masks, everyone. Get the hostages out first. Mars and Gunnar are left alone with us in there. It's for self-defense, you're alone. Shoot, Lars. 
We separate them before they get to the lobby. You want to go back to prison? Everyone got out alive. Now you owe me my freedom. You have a visit in East Room. Who? I don't know. Bianca. Oh, wow. What are you doing here? Have you, um, heard from Gunnar? He's free now. He wants to feel your name. Oh, he's out. And I'm in. <laughs> your, uh, husband, he's okay? Christopher, he's great. He's a good man. We're all good. What are you gonna do when you get out? Leave Sweden, I guess. can't stop thinking about what happened with us. I still have a, a scar on my back because of you. But I'm alive. I survived. If today was not a crooked highway If tonight was not a crooked trail If tomorrow wasn't such a long time 
and lonesome would mean nothing to you at all. Yes, and only if my own true love was weak, if I could hear her heart is softly pounding. Yes, and only if she was lying by me, and I'd lie in my bed once again.